All this term we've been talking about the weather. The weather influences everything we do, what we wear, what activities we do. And your science journal still, oh, <laughs> the weather's catching us now. Your science journal still at school. And I know you did such a beautiful job and we'll finish the rest of it when you finally get back to school. Right now, we want to find out all about the weather. Every day and all around the world, the weather's different. Let's find out about how we can learn to read the clouds and how different kinds of weather are formed. Weather is what the air and sky are like. It changes all the time. What kind of weather can I see and feel today? Is it sunny, windy or grey? Well, you can see as my hair's blowing, it's very windy and I can feel the sun on my cheeks. I probably should be wearing sunglasses. Right now, the weather's different all around the world. Can I name all the different kinds of weather I see? If you can, let your mom, grandma, grandpa, or whoever's at home with you, let them know what it's like. What's the weather like where I live? I am the sun. I help make the weather on earth. How much I shine gives the earth its temperature and the seasons. Sunshine heats a layer of air around the earth called the atmosphere. All weather happens in the atmosphere. Water, wind, clouds, and sunshine are all parts of weather. I am air. When the sun warms the earth, I change and move to become wind. When the atmosphere is heated from the sun, air warms and expands. Hot air rises and cold rushes down. This is how the wind blows. Whirlwinds, tornadoes, water spouts and dust storms are all types of weather that come from wind. Willy Willy or dust storm devil in the Australian outback looks like this. When warm, moist air meets cool, dry air, it can create spinning effects that become tornadoes. Let's learn a new word. Let's say evaporation. Evaporation. Heat from the sun turns water into vapour, which rises into the sky. We call this evaporation. As the vapour rises, it cools and condenses. This means the water droplets join together to create clouds. When it's very cold, precipitation will be in the form of hail or snow or rain. When the water droplets become too heavy to stay in the air, they fall to the ground. We call this precipitation. Try it with mum. Precipitation. Try it with grandma. Precipitation. Let's learn a new word. Do it again. Precipitation. The water returns to the lakes, rivers and seas. And now the cycle begins again. We've spoken a lot about cycles, all different sort of cycles. Talk to your mum or dad or whoever's with you about all the different types of cycles you know. Water is a big part of weather. Sometimes we have too much or too little. That's when we get floods or drought. This is the Brisbane floods back in 2011. Rivers can overflow when a lot of snow melts or there's a lot of rain. Sometimes this happens because people have changed the environment, but it's also just a natural part of the water cycle. Bushfires can start when it's hot and dry and windy. We know that happened to us this year. Weather maps. We can use weather satellites and radar to make maps like this with a computer. This helps us to see what kind of weather might be forming. We are all clouds. You can tell by our shapes what kind of weather is on the way. Let's learn to read the weather just by looking up at the sky. Puffy white clouds, these are called cumulus. This usually means good weather. Heat waves happen when we have extremely hot weather for a very long time. This is a picture of the Sahara Desert in Africa. We are stratus clouds. We are the lowest type of cloud. We can even form on the ground as mist or fog. I bet you've driven to school sometimes where you've had fog or mist and you can't even see in front of you. Mist is a type of stratus cloud that is thin and see-through. 
Stratus clouds can form when warm temperatures meet cool temperatures. Fog is a thicker than mist and not see-through at all. So tell mum, don't drive in the fog. We are serious clouds. You can see us high up in the sky. When you see us, the weather is usually fair for now, but is about to change. Waves can change depending on the weather too. I'm a cumulus imbus. I'm another type of cumulus cloud. I can grow big and dark quickly to bring rain and thunderstorms. What would you wear in a thunderstorm? Would you go out in a thunderstorm? All kinds of precipitation like rain, hail, sleet or snow can come from this type of cloud. I'm a rainbow. You can see me when sunlight shines through droplets of water like rain, mist, fog or dew. When weather cools, water in the air condenses into dew droplets on things like grass. When it's very cold, it becomes frost instead. Have you seen condensation on your windows? Have you seen a rainbow? I'm a thunderstorm. I happen when ice and water bump around inside the clouds. All this bumping around creates an electrical charge called lightning. We all know that dogs get very scared in thunder and lightning, so protect your animals. Thunder is the boom sound wave caused by lightning. The longer it takes to hear thunder after seeing lightning, the further away it is. I'm a hailstorm. Water droplets can be carried up high into the sky in a thunderstorm where they freeze. The hail falls to the ground when it's too heavy to stay in the clouds. I remember early on this year, some of you came to school saying you had hail in your backyard. I am snow. I am made of ice crystals that stay frozen on the journey from the clouds to the ground. What's your favourite kind of weather? I hope it's not a blizzard. A blizzard is a long lasting snowstorm where a lot of snow falls. Okay, now you can tell your mum or dad or grandma or whoever's at home with you, your favourite type of weather. You might even go on YouTube and look up being a weather watcher. And you might even send me a little bit video about you being a weather watcher. I'd love to see it. And so would Miss Morgan. See you soon. Thank you.